My entire life, I've struggled with productivity. I spend far too much time on my phone. I stay up way too late. I sleep in way too much. I prioritize the wrong things. And I either am not productive at all and feel really guilty about it, or I'm way overly productive because I procrastinated everything. So over the next few days, I'm gonna try to kind of get a grasp and a hold on productivity and build some habits that can help me throughout my life. What really helps me is having a to-do list and actually seeing everything that I need to do. So I'm literally going to make one for the next couple of days. Now making this list actually does not make me more productive. Sometimes it actually does the opposite because I will get overwhelmed by a to-do list. I think my biggest problem is that I haven't learned balance and scheduling, time management basically. And today I'm already failing, which is why I'm gonna kinda start implementing things today and then tomorrow be able to put it into action. I think it's time that I start breaking up my life into daily, weekly, and monthly scheduling. The way I'm gonna break this up is by getting on a calendar and breaking things down. So within my month I want to be able to schedule in any trips that I have planned I know that I have to move soon so I need to start incorporating that and when that date is gonna be and just any like bigger plans that I know for sure is happening on a date sometime within the month I want to start doing this at the beginning of every month as kind of like a reset for weekly obviously any of my weekly plans such as my Bible studies my mentorship plans that I have with friends, things like that. I also really, really want to find a good work balance and I always overwork on the weekends. So I want to start actually taking the weekends off. As in, I can film on the weekends if I need to, but no, absolutely no editing on the weekends. Everything needs to be done within the week. And then of course, daily will be my daily to-do list and top priorities for that day. As well as what time I should wake up, what time I should be at the gym, and what time I should be absolutely done with work so that I can still enjoy my life, hang out with friends, play games, stuff like that. Let's get this productive day going. gonna start checking things off my to-do list and I need to call the apartments I applied for and see what the situation is. Thank you for calling. Thank you for calling. How can I help you? Hi. After all that, <laughs> all I had to do was call. I've been waiting for a week to know if I've been approved. And I know it was a holiday weekend. This last weekend was 4th of July, so I get it. But the lady said that they had like multiple things from me and it was like, I don't know, they just had to print something out and she's going to look over it and hopefully get back to me today. So please, I really hope I do some little praying right now that I get this apartment. <laughs> Sometimes on Instagram, I'll post my to-do list like this, and I think it's really fun. So if you guys want to go follow me, I post on my story quite a bit. I need to film the end of a video that I kind of have half edited and stuff, so you guys can watch me get myself ready for that. Get my camera, make sure this SD card, clear the SD card if I can. I also, every time I'm done filming something, throw whatever camera on the charger. So I just charged up this little camera. This is my, what I call my gym camera drink some water. I'm trying to drink more water. Now I'm going to watch the video and figure out what I actually want to say and then film it so I need my tripod. So yeah. lunchtime I'm gonna continue watching season four of Stranger Things and I'm eating some leftovers from my potluck night the other night and from a restaurant I went to last week. Hold up! I think I got approved for the apartments I want. I just got an email. Come on Phoenix! Let's celebrate! You get a new home! I got approved. Okay, so that means I have another thing I need to do today is fill out my lease. So I'm gonna start that. I'm so excited. There's only like 20 pages for me to sign, but all I have to do is press this button that says sign page and continue. And this lease is literally the exact lease 
Like, I guess everyone just uses the same template as the apartments that I'm in right now. Page seven out of, I don't even know how many. Five o'clock productivity check. So today, so far, we have read my Bible, went to the gym, cleaned up my room, edited my video I needed to post today, edited another video, filmed another video, started editing that video, kind of on a roll, filled out my lease, which took forever, for my apartment, ate lunch, cleaned up immediately after, and I think that's about it. So I've had a very productive day, and I decided that with productivity, I also need to be learning balance. So it is 5.06, and I'm ending my work day at five o'clock from now on at the latest six o'clock but we'll see i don't want to be doing any more editing or anything that i would consider work after five so we're done and now i get to have fun when my boyfriend gets home from work he's gonna head over here and then i can hang out with him but until then i'm gonna do some fun stuff for myself So you know how yesterday I was like, oh, I'm just gonna do some chill fun stuff after five o'clock till my boyfriend can come over? Yeah, that didn't happen because I played Sims from five o'clock or whatever time, 5.30 to midnight, yes. I haven't played Sims in probably three years and I forgot how addicting it is. There's always something to do. My Sim is engaged already, so we've been going hard. And I recently found out that you can get a woodworking table and make some money selling your woodworking stuff. So I've been getting rich on Sims. Anyway, so that being said, I slept in a little bit today and now I'm ready for the gym. back from the gym, ate a little bit of lunch, drinking some water, I'm gonna put my sheets back on my bed. I showered and got ready. I am absolutely loving braids recently. I think I wanna wear braids literally every day. I do prefer just like the half braids with a little ponytail or leave it down, but we're going full braids today. The braids I had in before, I literally had in for like three or four days, so I've rebraided it. And then I can also go longer without washing my hair. Still waiting for my laundry to dry that I threw in this morning, and I'm really tempted to hop in my bed with those nice, warm, clean sheets. Oh, nothing is better. And a clean body on clean sheets. If only I would've shaved my legs. I should've done that. But no, we're gonna be productive because we wanna be able to take the weekend off. Random side note, these, if you live by an H-E-B, these are so good. It's sparkling water and it helps me drink so much more water than I regularly would because it tastes like a soda. This one is sweet and tropical and I also really like the, whatever the orange one is. I love orange flavored things, but I can drink a million of these and I think they're only like 68 cents. You can also get them in like a pack with cans, but I like the bottles. Anyway, I'm gonna sit at my desk, have a little editing session, get some work done. It's now time to make dinner. I'm gonna make some pasta. The rest of this night, I ended up playing Sims again for a couple hours and then my boyfriend surprised me and said, be ready at 9.45. I have a surprise and he ended up taking me to go see the new Thor movie. So that was cute and fun. But that being said, this last two days, I was definitely a lot more productive than normal. And then Saturday morning, I actually went and helped a friend move for a couple hours. So I have been unbelievably productive and I think everything I do in this video, if I can keep doing, is gonna improve my productivity. Uh -huh. 